So an enabling environment also depends a lot on uh, policies. Uh, what are some of the relevant parental uh, social protection policies that exist currently and what are the challenges in implementing them? Yeah, so, so some of the policies, of course, breastfeeding is, is a human right. In, in 2016, it was established by the UN that breastfeeding is a human right. And that right is enshrined in many different uh, types of uh, declarations. Like, for example, in the Convention on the Rights of the Child, there's one article specifically about breastfeeding. And also in the uh, International Labour Organization, ILO <coughs> conventions, breastfeeding is also established as a, as a right. <coughs> and there, of course, it's about maternity leave or parental leave and paternity leave for, for fathers. And here, and, and then we're talking about these um, policies and legislation and some of the challenges in implementing them. I think it's quite easy to to relatively easy to, to establish or to, to develop a policy, but the implementation is the difficult part. For example, <clears throat> what we advocate for is in terms of the parental and maternity and paternity leave uh, is that it should be publicly funded. It should not be um, the burden of the, the cost of the, should not be only on the employer. Uh, so, of course, then one of the challenges in relation to this with public funds is the the need and the, the ability of governments around the world to to actually budget for for these uh, for this implementation of these policies and legis and legislation. So that's one of it. One of the things that um, that we're talking about and in terms of um, also. Support the fund the funding of these of these policies and legislation is one of the barriers the other one is about the the discrimination you know that the um the workforce now that more and more women are coming out into the workforce and and of course they want to remain in the workforce so so anything that uh it's very important to to tighten the uh the non the anti discrimination legislation as well so that women don't um, get the shorthand of the stick. I mean, we don't want women to lose their jobs uh, because they become a liability or something like that to, to the employer. So that's very important. And I think uh, in terms of focusing on parental rather than parental leave rather than only maternity leave, that that can actually help to reduce the, the so-called motherhood penalty, which is the, that when women have, of course, they are the ones who are bearing, who are pregnant and they give birth and they breastfeed their children, that they may uh, actually, that may actually impact negatively on their, their job, so to speak, that they may, uh, if, if, and to mitigate that, you need to have anti-discrimination and policies and legislation that actually protect the job ac aspect also of the of this so so essentially we are of course uh, promoting these uh, leave legislation and policies uh, that support breastfeeding <clears throat> but it's also important that that women can keep their jobs and also continue to uh, be in gainful employment and also move forward in their careers and and, and so on so, so we are quite aware of that, and, and when we work with different partners, like for example, uh, men care or trade unions and, and so on, we, we, we actually learn more about the different angles of parental social protection that we need to, uh, to be aware of. Um, so I would say that's one of the barriers. Another barrier is also the attitudes, um, sometimes about... Um, both women and men, that sometimes the awareness about the importance of breastfeeding is not there and uh, employers may not be aware of it. Um, the benefits of breastfeeding to, to an employer, for example. So raising awareness amongst employers is also important to overcome that barrier and, and so on and so forth.